All right, so in today's experiment, what your goal is, is to determine the accuracy associated with three different pieces of glassware. Okay, so that's what we're doing in today's experiment. So what you're gonna be doing is you're going to get a piece of, I mean, get yourself a beaker. The volume of the beaker is arbitrary. As long as it's big enough to hold 25 mils, you're fine. All right, so don't pick a 10 mil beaker. But anything beyond that, 100 mils, whatever, doesn't matter. Make sure it's clean, make sure it's dry, and record its empty mass. So I've got spot for that right there. And you're gonna use that same beaker throughout the entire experiment. And that's just to collect your liquid. Why? Well, how do you record the mass of a liquid? You can't just go over to the balance and dump it in there, right? So you're gonna have a beaker that you're pouring your liquid into, and you know its mass empty, so you can subtract it out to get the mass of your liquid, okay? So that's what you're doing in terms of why you're doing that part there. So you're gonna be using three different pieces of glassware. In part one, you're gonna be using the burette, okay? The burette is that long, skinny one. I'll demonstrate what that looks like and how you can, how you read it in just a few minutes. Um, but basically, it goes backwards. Okay, so when you're reading the volume of the burette, 25.00 is up here at the top, zero is down here at the bottom. And these are in point ones, okay? So you can get two decimal places from a burette reading. And I expect your data to reflect the number of decimal places you can get. Okay, and when you're reading your volume, just if you remember back to high school, right, you want to read from the bottom of the meniscus, yes, and then you have the value that you're confident in, because these are all point ones, it's going to be 25, if it's directly on that mark, it'll be 25.00, right? And to dispense 25.00, all the way, you would let it drain all the way down to 0.00, and then it kind of comes to a point here at the end, and then this is where you control it. Don't let it go past that last little tick mark. So if that's the valve right there, don't let it go past that last tick mark because there is that length that you would also be dispensing as well, which you're not measuring, okay? So I can't remember if you're gonna be using 25 mil burettes or 50 mil burettes. Either way, it works by subtraction, okay? So if you're using a 50 mil burette and you fill it all the way up to 50, you can use the same burette for trial one and then for trial two as well. But what you do in here, in your data analysis, this is really what I want to demonstrate for you. So here's your mass of your beaker and water. Let's pretend that uh, the mass of the water comes out to be, I don't know, 24.72 uh, grams. Actually, your, your balance is going to give you four sig figs. So let's pretend seven, it's four decimal places, 7219. Right, because our analytical balance gives us four decimal places. And we never, ever, 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 ever round the balance, okay, ever. So record all the decimal places here. Now, the theoretical volume is the volume that you think you're dispensing, right? If you used the burette and you filled it up to 25.00 and you drained it all the way down, what volume do you think you're dispensing? You think you're dispensing 25.00, right? That's what you think you're dispensing. The actual volume is obtained using the density of water. Okay, so what is the formula for density? Density equals, who remembers? Mass over volume, right. Okay, now the density of pure water is 1.00 grams per milliliter, right? And you're gonna plug in your mass, right? So that would be 24.7219 grams over V is what you're solving for. Well, because this is one, right? V is just 24.7219 grams. So you thought you were dispensing 25.00. You actually dispensed 24.7219 milliliters, right? So what's the error? It would just be the difference between these. And I've got it all written out right here, right? Actual minus theoretical. So it'd be 24.7219 minus 25, whatever that comes out to be, that would be your error. Now, if your error comes out negative, is that a problem? It's okay to have a negative error, because think about why. You actually dispensed less than what you were thinking you dispensed, right? 
right? So if your error comes out negative, it just means that your actual volume was too low. You thought you were dispensing 25, you actually were dispensing 24.7219, et cetera. All right, so you're gonna do that for three trials. You're gonna do it with the burette, you're gonna do it with the graduated cylinder, and you're gonna do it with a plain old beaker, okay? And then you're going to calculate your error, calculate an average error, and then on your back, you've got questions. All right, so does everybody understand the purpose of the experiment and what you're doing in the experiment? Any questions on that part? All right, I'm gonna turn off the recording now so we can talk some more about what the beer at looks like and all that good stuff because my camera won't go back that far anyway. So, stop. And...